Create a new game object. Add a mesh renderer component and assign a material to it. Add a mesh filter so your mesh renderer knows what mesh to render. Add a plane generator script. In this script, every frame we will generate a plane mesh and then assign it to our mesh filter. To generate my mesh, first I create a list of vertices or points which are dictated by the desired size as well as resolution. Then I create a list of triangles or indexes which tell our mesh what order the points will be connected in. I make sure all my triangles are drawn clockwise to render correctly and that they don't overlap each other. I achieve this by looping through all the points except the last row and the last point in every row. From each of these points, I draw two triangles forming a square whose bottom left corner is the current point. Once my vertices and triangles are set, I assign them to my mesh. To modify your plane, just modify its values before assigning them to your mesh. I have been playing around modifying my plane's height with sine waves, which is when resolution comes in handy. For a sideways motion, what I do is I calculate the current time, then set my vertices Y values to be the sign of the current time plus the X position. For a ripple style effect, I calculate the center position of the plane, then for every vertex or point, I calculate how far away it is from the center and assign the height to be the sign of the current time plus this distance from the center. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you can have a good time regardless if you subscribe.